going to the gym and you know the whole no pain no gain thing like i don't buy fully into that but i do buy into if you know how to suffer and it has been quote unquote painful Mm -hmm. you know you know how to deal with that you 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 know how to deal with it you know how to get through to the other side and you understand what it's going to feel like once you're past this point but if you never push yourself right and you don't know what that feels like then anything that gets thrown at you that might be even somewhat painful your your relative pain scale or threshold is so much lower right i agree i know that like just airdyne bike intervals yeah when i first started really banging my head against those like because i knew i had to do them like trying to do like a ton of crossfit training dude when i first started banging my head against those like puking was like a thing but also like once you get past that, like once you realize like doing it so many times, I'm going to live. I just have to just sit here in the pain for a while until this is over, like whatever the structure yeah, and the, and the pain's, is. And the pain's relative, right? It's your pain. Yeah. I mean, like, so like if if you just have to be on the bike for five minutes, you, you've you done it a handful of times, you know you're going to survive. You just actually have to get through the pain. You're not going to hurt yourself physically. It's just surviving it. Once you get past that mentally, dude, like you gain this confidence and also an understanding of like what has to happen for growth how much and more a lot can of you, other things yeah how much more can you tap into once you've reached that point like you yeah. realize like i thought my threshold was at my 20 was what i realized is my threshold or my tolerance was i was only reaching my 20 percent yeah like there's this whole other 80 percent that's untapped like ability that i have or maybe that's even the ability to suffer longer you know whatever it is you, you you're training your body you're training your mind you're training your emotional state to be able to deal with stuff and deal with stressful situations. Um, it builds confidence and understanding that while this might be uncomfortable, I'm fine, mm-hmm. right? Or, God, that was really scary, but I know I'm going to be okay. Mm-hmm. And I, I, it, it, I think it begs the question, like, if we lived in a more fit, more mentally, physically, emotionally fit United States of America, what kind of country would this be right now? right? Versus what it is right now. And I love my country. I, I love, I love the United States of America. Yeah. I love what it stands for. I love, I love what it's built on. I know we're, we're we're fucking unhealthy, but we're trying to, we are, we are unhealthy as hell right now at a lot of different levels. And it doesn't have to be that way. People need to take personal responsibility for being, you know, I think starting with the things that they can control, which are which you fucking put in your this mouth. This is your body. And this like, is your body. Yeah. And it's so not hard to do 30 minutes. I tell people all the time, look, I know this sounds extreme, but if it takes me seven minutes to do 100 burpees and I'm not even in my best shape or whatever, dude, like who hurts themselves doing burpees? Like whatever. Even if it's like 50 burpees. Modify the burpee. That does so <laughs> much. And not even jumping. <laughs> lay down. Stand Modify up, the burpee. Lay down. Stand yeah, up. Do it on a bench. So many off, fucking benefits to doing something as simple as that everybody's got five to 10 minutes throughout their day. You just have to fucking make time. Yeah. There's a lot of excuses and there's a lot of just not uh, as poor mental fitness, I think, and emotional fitness and, and, and taking control or taking personal responsibility for that. And it's also the comparison of there's a, there's a, that comparison game that I think, well, if, I have to do what this other person's doing, no, it's all relative to you. Mm -hmm. So whatever you want to do for your five to 10 minutes, do it, but don't tell me you don't have time. Don't tell me you don't have the energy and don't make, don't give me those, those excuses. I don't want to hear that. Dude, everybody's at a different yeah. place. And like uh, the workout I did earlier with one of our range buddies, uh, I would personally consider that like a warm up. but everything that he did, I seen it on him and I seen him working through the motions and the patterns and what the sweat looked like, what his face looked like, 10 minutes of 30 seconds on 30 right. seconds off on the airdyne. man, I felt really good that he got like a great workout. Like well rounded, I felt really good after that for him when I basically just ran him through right. it, which would have been pretty much a warm up for me. Right. It's all relative, and that's not to like brag or anything close to that. That's actually just me saying that like an hour spent him investing in his future, like I, I promise you, like he's gonna feel better tomorrow about himself when we hit the range and we run around a bit. Right.